KDK first showed you exclusive cell phone video of a Center Township police officer allegedly tackling a good Samaritan. Kenneth Vineyard was helping a shooting victim outside the Walmart in Manaka earlier this month when someone recorded that video. Vineyard ended up dying. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso talked to both the Beaver County DA, who's recusing himself now from the case, and with the Vineyard family's lawyer. Jen. I can. Well, Beaver County District Attorney David Lozier telling me he is recusing himself because of transparency. He tells me that the Center Township police officer who is being investigated for the death of Kenneth Vineyard is a part time officer for one of the DA's task force. Now, at the time of this incident, he was not on duty, but the attorney, Joel San Sown for Kenneth Vineyard's family is demanding justice and he wants charges. Video footage has been described to me that shows that this police officer did a leg sweep to bring this man down who was backing up at the time. KDK has obtained new cell phone video from a witness outside the Manaka Walmart earlier this month when Kenneth Vineyard wearing orange encountered an off-duty plainclothes police officer after Vineyard says he was helping a shooting victim outside his truck. Attorney Joel Sansone tells me it appears to show the officer sweeping at Vineyard's legs, pushing him near his neck area. Vineyard falls to the ground, slamming his head on the pavement. He had a seizure, was rushed to a hospital where he later died. Because there's no good explanation for tackling a man who was doing nothing. And all of the witnesses that we've spoken to have confirmed that Mr. Vineyard was not in any way a threat to this police officer. Sources tell me a preliminary autopsy report by the coroner's office says Vineyard may have suffered a cardiac event. Officials are waiting for toxicology reports, including blood alcohol content. Attorney Sansone says he hired Dr. Cyril Weck to do an independent autopsy. He believes Vineyard suffered a head fracture. At Dr. Weck's suggestion, we are sending this, uh, the brain samples to a neuropathologist who can make a clear confirmation about whether or not a traumatic brain injury was part of the cause of this death. In the end, Sansone believes the police officer is responsible for Vineyard's death. This police officer and his conduct killed the man, whether it was by a skull fracture that resulted in a traumatic brain injury or whether it was by a heart attack caused by the conduct of this police officer, it's still manslaughter, if not second degree murder. Sources tell me there is body camera footage worn by a police officer who was responding to the Walmart shooting. Now, D.A. Lozier tells me that the state police, they are wrapping up its investigation into this matter. It's going to take six to eight weeks before toxicology results come back. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.